Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest Hans of Iron 4 video. I have rediscovered the joy of the chaos associated with non-historical AI focuses. So today that's what we're going to do, have some chaos. And in that chaos I'm going to try and do Austro-Hungary. Because, let's be honest, that's the only way to play Hungary. So we're going to try and do that with non-historical focuses, which means Germany, Czechoslovakia, Romania and Yugoslavia can make trouble for us. Or make things easier, we'll see. Also, there's a chance to benefit from the Soviet Civil War, as there always is. Hungary, regular difficulty, Iron Man mode, non-historical focuses. Let's go. As Hungary, we start very weak. We have a small army, very little manpower, but that's thanks to the Treaty of Trianon. We will get rid of it, eventually. Right, let's get to our focuses. There is a communist, a fascist and even a democratic way to play, but of course the proper way is to invite the Habsburg Prince. So, balance the budget. Let's start by creating a spy agency. I think we'll need that. That will log all our factories for quite a while, unfortunately. But that's the sad reality of what we have to live with. Then we'll do some infrastructure and maximize civilian factories. Just one infrastructure will get the last bit from a focus. Research boost and some industry, please. Right, that's about it. Unpause. We have quite a lot of generals and even a field marshal. I'm going to use the level 4 as a general and promote the level 3 to a field marshal, but if we can peacefully annex Czechoslovakia, as is my plan, we should get some better field marshals from them. Agency's done, now I need 5 upgrades to get the extra operative. Let's start with invisible ink. Why do I need an agency? Because I need to know what Germany is doing and when they're doing it. Now, unless they start a civil war, in which case it won't matter that much. But the spies will be useful nonetheless. Spy. Let's get Daniel. And send him to Germany immediately. Continue upgrading our agency until we have two operatives. The pills, which do a thing I can't talk about on YouTube. Civil war in Germany, okay. This can actually be beneficial to us. Much will depend on Czechoslovakia. Because the sure way to get them peacefully is when they're threatened by Germany. But they're not going to be threatened by Germany. So they might just refuse us. On the other hand, if they don't, I'll be in a great position to conquer Germany. Strengthen the monarchists. The rebels always win the civil war, so let's spy on them. Also, silent workhorse. I started investing in the agency, might as well continue. Let's check on the Soviets. Right, if there's going to be a civil war, it's not going to be with the monarchists. We know that much already. I'm making some support equipment because I don't need it for missions. And I'm not buying steel because I'm using all my factories on the spy agency. But just for a little while longer. Elect a king. Yugoslavia is going communist. This, uh, hmm. this could actually be beneficial to us. The Soviet Union will be easy to beat up if they have a civil war. And then I can invade Yugoslavia. If they don't have a civil war, that's going to be a problem. But I can probably align myself with Germany. You know what? If Germany goes the Kaiser route, we might even get a nice alliance with them. Yeah, they don't need to be my enemy. And I won't be able to capitalize on them being weakened by the civil war, because I'm weak as well. Let's switch our spy focus to the Soviet Union. And get an elusive gentleman. If we're doing spies, let's do spies all the way. That's going to give us three agents soon. At this point, it's almost center and we're going against the Soviet Union because I want Yugoslavia. So I might as well start doing collaboration governments there. Right, that's enough to get an operative. Let's not spend our factories on the agency anymore. Instead, a little bit of steel. And boost to our support weapons. Sadly, we can't do uh, local operatives because I just don't have enough factories for that. Elect a king and time for Habsburg. There we go. The more I think about it, the more it seems proper to align myself with Germany. If they go democratic, they will be in opposition to the Soviet Union, although this can take a long time for them to actually uh, put into motion. And if they go with the Kaiser, well then our interests align, naturally. Third operative, everybody in Moscow. Spying on the Soviets is difficult, they have very good counterintelligence. But we're starting early, so maybe it'll be fine. Right, the German military junta has annexed Germany. Let's see how that develops. Also, ah, agent captured, see? I did tell you, it's dangerous. There. Oh, that's an interrogator. I thought she was an escape artist. Doesn't matter. Benedek, you go. Also, operations are the highest priority, then garrisons, then everything else. Improved worker conditions, please. Some extra stability will do us good. And with the Habsburg prince, we'll have a nice amount of political power. Otto assumes the Hungarian crown. Now, the difficult bit will be to convince Czechoslovakia to submit to us. Now, we could demand a referendum with Austria. We have a 70% chance of success normally, 80 if they like me enough, 
and 95 if I also do the railways. So let's also do the railways. There's no rush. They might even be developing faster on their own right now. Maybe I should just let them do the focuses. If they get the factories, I get the factories. It will be my core territory. Hmm, still not enough spy network to know what they're doing. But we've rescued an operative. Let's do collaboration governments. Those are very powerful. They'll also cripple our industry, but uh, it's worth it if they work out. I wonder, if I set this up differently, would that not terminate my steel trade? Huh doesn't really matter. We can deal with the lack of steel. The penalty is not so high. Promote the level 3, give him offensive doctrine and charismatic. And you... you don't really get anything. Now, industrial revitalization is going to give us a bonus to industry. I want to use it for a specific thing, for concentrated industry 3. So in order to not delay ourselves in other stuff, let's start all the level 2 things. Also, free trade, please. More factory output, more research speed, more construction speed. Agent captured again. Oh, well, this is a quick operation, so let's do it before we do a collaboration government. We're not ready for that one either. Reintegrate the railways. Spanish Civil War has started, nobody's surprised. Britain seems to be staying the course. Don't know about France yet. Civil War in Lithuania. Ah, the rescue operation has started. Let's get an army regrouping guy, so we can start earning some experience. Oh, wait a minute, he doesn't give it. That's disappointing. Railroads are reintegrated. Oh, I could go after Austria right away, but perhaps it's better to delay. Let them get the free factories from the focuses. Support domestic industry. Almost ready for the first collaboration government. Of course, if there's no civil war, it's not gonna do much for me. Oh, and there's enough world tension for me to actually justify war goals if I so choose. We're not strong enough to do so. Let's get the captain of industry. Computing machine. Ah, the collaboration government operation has launched. I want to know what's going on there, but I would, I would have to infiltrate their civilian administration. That takes time. Let's just hope for the best. Research slot, please. Let's have a look at Austria. All right, civil war in Poland. Offense expert. He'll give us experience. These guys don't, shouldn't they? Hmm. More bonuses for industry. Now, if I use these bonuses on concentrated industry 4 and 5, they will actually complete in a reasonable time frame. Agent captured. That's unfortunate. Quick rescue operation, please. And we have finished the collaboration government. The first one. 45%. Nice. China being aggressive. They're going with the Kaiserreich. This would actually make us natural allies. Yeah. Wilhelm II returns to the German Empire. Hello, Wilhelm. You wanna be friends again? Almost. What Charles the are doing? Communism. They're doing communism. China. China and Spain doing stuff. Let's have a look. Yeah, four-way civil war here and China attacking the warlords. Austria, how are you doing? Mm, looks like they are going with military focuses, which is not good for us. Perhaps it's time to annex them. Let's give them some more time. Maybe they'll do the right focuses. Now, do we want to try and get Czechoslovakia on our side? If the Soviet Union attacks Romania, for example, which they sometimes do, Czechoslovakia will join them and then we could kind of ally ourselves, making it more likely that they would befriend us. You know what, let's get Austria and we'll decide later. Improve relations, please. I was hoping they would do construction effort 3, but they already did get 5 extra factories from these, which is good enough, I suppose. Okay, Soviet Union attacked Romania. Good to know. Is Czechoslovakia in this war with them? Yes, they're war at war with France, Czechoslovakia and Romania, which would be a good moment to actually attack the Soviet Union together with all these people. But first I need to know if they're going to have a civil war or not. It is crucial, and I don't know that. Hmm, perhaps if you guys build up the network a bit. Let me move you somewhere closer, even about here. That looks a bit better. Hmm. I need to get to 50% here. Let's delay the operation of the next coalition government. Just do not commence it automatically. I'm, I'll commence it manually in a moment. Oh, we can get extra war support from this. That's pretty cheap. Yeah, let's do that. I do have the political power. Excellent. Our network is growing. If I can get to 50%, which I should be able to, soon we'll get the information we need. All right, show me. The right opposition. Okay, so there is going to be a civil war. We're good, we're correct to prepare for a war with them. Then continue your efforts to do a coalition government, please. The two of you. If I get another super success, I will not need a third coalition government. Romania, are you doing well? Well enough. Demand referendum, and the Soviet civil war has started. Alright, the SSR is down here, which is fine by me. Now, why is France not in the Allies yet? I should get the Allies to fight the Soviet Union. The Soviet Civil War. Once we get Austria, because uh, I finished the referendum thing, right? Once we get Austria, excellent, referendum succeeds. I can start getting ready to fight the Soviet Union. As though, do we want... How do I improve my relations with you? See, the problem is they will dislike me because I'm going to claim their territory with this. I wish we didn't get the uh, penalty to relations with that. But oh well. Oh, got a cool field marshal from Austria. Austria votes, Zog submits, 
Italian, Italian Yugoslavia. When did that happen? Well, good to know. Now, oh, Germany, would you perhaps want to create a faction with us so that we can beat up the Soviets together? Mm, you wouldn't, not really. Well, it is time to start justifying war goals. 100 days for the Soviet Union. How about the SSR? 30 days only, because they're in a major war. Why don't I get this bonus? The Soviet Union, though. Strange. Oh, well, 200 days seems about right. Let's justify on their capital, and simultaneously also justify on your capital. Oh, no. Not like that. We need to attack them simultaneously, more or less. So this can wait a bit. The second justification. European Pact. Soviet Lithuania and Soviet Union. While Mexico starts a civil war. Now I need Czechoslovakia, who are communists, to submit to me. At least you're not in an alliance with anyone. Romania is doing great, as usual. I want to get involved with that. Limit. Why do I get SSR cooperation? Am I sending operations against the wrong country? Or will it be all the same? Oh, it automatically transferred. You know what? I'm fine with that. Transfer my agent as well then. Now that I have some extra civilian factories, time to do cryptology. Romania are doing great down here. Can I create factions? I can create factions. I should. Once we declare war, we will be in a common war with these guys and they might actually accept an invitation. Sadly, this justification is quite long. If they lose Moscow in the meantime, which is possible actually, Romania going as they're going, I'll lose my justification. Decrypt the SSR. I still have the Treaty of Trianon, sadly. Guys, right, so slow down a bit. Italy seeks extensive military pact, restoration of Austro-Hungary. Both are fine, of course, here now. Will you hate me? Yeah, because I have claimed your territory. It should not matter soon, but we're not ready for this, are we? Although they just might accept. We just have to improve relations a bit. That's not gonna do much. I'm going to delay this until I'm at war. Do civilian industry for now. Estonia joins the Italian League. Improved competing machine. And Japan attacked China. That was our second operation. Normal success. Which means I need one more. Everybody pile on here. China. China getting very aggressive with everyone, apparently. That's not going to end well for them. Saving up some political power for when we're at war. Tensions running high. US and Japan. Let's invest in the better guns. It's a tad ahead of time, but not too much. Halfway there with justification on the Soviet Union. In this concentrated four with the bonus. Time to justify on the SSR. Use the capital. Maybe a little bit too early, but the war goals are valid for two months, so it won't matter. And the last coalition government. Significantly more expensive. And after that, do not repeat. I wonder if they want to form an, a faction with me. Let's do foreign investors. Research speed 10%. That's amazing. And afterwards, I will try to pressure Czechoslovakia, I suppose. They are at war. They are not in a faction. There's high tensions. The only problem is they don't like me. I could try to improve that with the an attaché in improving relations. But without being in the same faction, that won't really do much. Also, I'm not sure if being guaranteed counts as being in a faction or not for the purposes of uh, them determining if they want to submit to me. Let's do professional officer call, medical preparation, and leave that alone for now. Civil war in Finland. Oh, and they joined the Italian League, strangely enough. Hey, Germany, you want to uh, do a faction or something? Oh, you do? Wow, okay. Let's name our faction. That's a good name for a faction, isn't it? The Dawn of Habsburg. Excellent. 90% already to assume leadership. Whoa, that's a bit of an issue. I didn't think they would have enough factories right away, but apparently they do. This might have been a mistake. I can invite people to my faction. I can invite Romania. Then I wouldn't have to worry. Oh, should have done that a while ago. Let's do that. I can join your war. Hey, France, wanna join? We might. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Well, soon I'll be at war. I'll get more manpower, maybe. It'll be fine. So, Romania, how about I join your war? Well, the Golian French War, what's that? Oh, and a war with the SSR as well. I can find both of you. Interesting. Yeah, let me have a closer look at these wars. SSR is at war with France, but not with Romania. No, I just joined the war with the Soviet Union. Wait a minute, not this one. This is weird. You know what? I'll just, I'll just attack them on my own. The options didn't seem right. Germany under attack because they joined the war. Right, call to arms against Soviet Union, Soviet Lithuania. Yes, this looks fine. And available war goal against the SSR. Let's attack them. Now, what I'm hoping for is the Soviet Union gets defeated, the SSR gets their territory in the civil war, and then I beat them up and get more. Will it work? We will see. But now that we're at war, Treaty of Challenge should get removed. It did. I can even go to total mobilization, although I do prefer war economy. So here's war economy, and here's a limited conscription. I need a lot of troops, so the Germans don't take over my faction. The Germans want to join my war against the SSR. Not yet, my friend. Create an empty template with just one infantry, with a kitten. Oh, also train a lot of those. Let's go for a full army group, which means I need 94 of these. Come on, mobilize that manpower. Now, if I create a non-aggression pact with 
Czechoslovakia and improve relations with them and maybe send an attaché that might convince them to actually join me. Yes, I think we need that. Not sure about the attaché. It's doing non-aggression pact and improve relations. And military access, that will give me some extra. Nice. I can't really attack SSR here because uh, they're not at war with Romania. I have not called Romania in. We can find the Soviet Union for a bit. Oh, they cannot assume leadership because we don't share the same enemies. I can use this as a loophole. Excellent, so they will not steal the faction from me. And if I can integrate Czechoslovakia successfully, there will be no danger of that. If Czechoslovakia refuses, perhaps I can use Germany to kill them. 0% participation. Time to start. Protect Czechoslovakia. Let's see if they can see reason and become our subject. Now to get a bonus I would need 65 relations. It looks like it's impossible to get at the moment unless they join my faction and they don't seem to want to do that. I can invite them so let's try it. They will refuse. They will crumble alone. Let's still improve relations. Attaché is, I don't remember, it's 10 or 25 something like that which is also not going to be sufficient. So with Lithuania capitulates. Excellent. 5%. Not a lot. But it's something. Germany even launching naval invasions. Impressive. Maybe if I can get Moscow. Hmm. I can become spy master of my own faction. Let's do that. Let's look at the factions. Italian League, Habsburg, Allies. Allies is just Britain and puppets. Japanese are doing well. Need more manpower. Deploy troops. What happened? The Soviet Union surrendered already. And the SSR does not have the majority to claim stuff from them. Romania does. But Romania is my ally, I suppose, so I don't really need to worry about that too much. Hmm. What do we want to get? Romania is an ally, so we can go through their territory. Let's try and get bits in the north. How about that? SSR gets a lot. Good. I want to get something bordering Romania. Preferably with a port. How about these two? Is that the SSR wants these? I will forfeit them. Gladly. Take other stuff. Oh no, I don't want to forfeit them. I want to go through Romania and attack them from these bits. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe some more in the north. It'd be nice if I could get Leningrad. Do I have convoys for naval transport? I don't. Do I? That's gonna be a bummer. Yeah, let's transport stuff through through Romania. That's gonna be better. How about this? Yeah, I need this bit. What do I? Maybe these two are enough. I'll try and take Leningrad. Okay, I have some points left. This is not too bad. This is not too bad. Although, the territory here... 180. That's not a lot. Let's try Novgorod. No, I can't. How about this bit then? I can't afford it. See, that's fine actually. I steal your stuff. War reparations from Soviet Lithuania? No. Demilitarized zone? It doesn't really matter. Oh, demilitarized zone. Hmm. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just going to end it here. The SSR got almost everything, which is fine because I'm at war with them. Now, do I have enough convoys to bring supplies to Leningrad? Not really, no. Right, we want everyone. Oh, you're actually occupying some of their territory, which is fine. Run over here, everybody. The ones who can. And those who can't, because they're in German territory, will form a new army. Oh no, you can't do anything, can you? This is not exactly correct, because you can follow the other ones once they create a path. So it should be fine. Yeah, get over here because here we have supplies. And you run to Moscow because we can probably get there faster. And you run around their territory and connect to Leningrad. Yeah, because all the troops are here. So if I move quickly, it'll be fine. Now, SSR is at war with me and France only. And I have the majority war score, which is actually excellent. Now, how is the coalition government oppression? Hmm. Still far from success, however, it's not a big deal. Oh no, it's, it's in progress. Ah, I thought it was preparation. It's fine then. Even without it, it would be okay, because we would have 75%. And you can't assume leadership of our faction because we're at war and you're not. Good. Actually, these small guys are going to be excellent in assuming control of the enemy territory if I just put them on garrison orders, aggressive garrison orders. What will be even better is the same principle, just use a cavalry unit instead. Sorry, mobile battalions, cavalry, just call it horse in German, and this tiny thing... Well, theoretically I should be using Hungarian, not German, but Austro-Hungary... You know what, it doesn't really matter. You guys use the garrison order on all these territories, move very quickly, because all the enemy forces are likely stuck here. Perhaps we can reach all that territory before they do, which would make this a very easy, quick and profitable war. Okay, go. Railway transport, please. Should have deployed them closer to the front lines. United Kingdom disavows appeasement. What appeasement? There's no Hitler anymore. End of the Soviet Civil War? Well, 
and of a war in the Soviet Union. Now the only one. Now Czechoslovakia. Now you are no longer at war. Oh, you are at war, just uh, not with the Soviet Union, with Mongolia and Tuva. Hmm, you will not join my faction. Will you submit to me? We'll know in 33 days. It will be a pity if they don't, but also not the end of the world. Some of you, go here. It'd be nice to connect and get some supplies. You might as well take territory while you're at it. Ah, my cavalry is arriving. Excellent. Just look at the speed of this expansion. Excellent. Convoys, please. And can we please buy some steel, France? Actually, you know what? Let's buy it from Germany. They are our friend. Wait a minute. The nation is Poland is now named the German Reich. That's a bit harsh, isn't it? And no, Germany, I'm not inviting you to my war. You and better Germany. Subordinate to me. Territory is connecting. Some enemy forces have appeared around the area. Not sure how, not sure why, but they're here. Not really a problem. I will reorganize everything and have a proper front line soon. But I do welcome a land lease from the Germans. Where's my collaboration operation? Here, 61 days. And my way to Moscow has been obstructed. Not completely, though. Take it. Go through here, then. So who are you fighting? Take Moscow. And it's mine. You just stay there. More operatives. Who are we likely to fight? Extensive conscription. I don't think I've researched the option to do localized. Yes, we need localized training centers. Then we'll get the next operative. You guys take over the bits of territory here. And you take this. You take this bit. The ones who don't have an order form a front line or something and attack aggressively from it. You stay in Moscow. France wants military access. No, I don't want you to fight the Soviets, because that will give you more war score. And I don't want that. I want all the war score. Germany's cancelled the land lease. What a pity. Occupy territories. Let's use the horses. Military governor. Not the best option. Let's use the martial law for now. We want to keep the resistance low, and we'll get compliance automatically once the war is over. Can you get Volgograd? Ah, the cipher's decrypted. Good. 45 days for the operation, which is not that long, but a lot is happening, so it seems like it's going slow. And they have amassed some defenses. Excellent. I'm so happy. Czechoslovakia has accepted a generous offer of protection. Which means I can now take all the nice troops they have and send them to the front lines. Go, help. And this might actually be enough to win. They are damaged after the Civil War, after all. Should I use the horses too? Yeah, they're very weak, but they can move around quickly and get between enemies. Uh, I'm gonna lose Moscow. I suppose it doesn't really matter. How's the manpower? It's fine. Claim Galicia. Do we want to do that? I don't necessarily want to fight Poland, at least not yet. We can leave that alone for now. And expand the steelworks. As for the horses, move quickly. Move around the enemy. Distract them. Can deploy some more troops. You guys will be switched to infantry. Got Czechoslovakia's field marshals. At level 3. You might want to get the brilliant strategist to be field marshal. Let's do that. Aggressive assault. It's going to be a penalty to our overall strength for now, but it's a temporary one. Detach the garrisons from the army, with the field marshal, give them a different one. And paint a new order for this entire army group, with new troops everywhere. Go. Should I still be aggressive? Well, there are some gaps in the front lines, which could be useful to us. And once I've accumulated enough war score, I can always call the Germans in. If I do that, they can assume leadership, so that's a bit of an issue. Oh no, they cannot, because they don't have enough manpower in the field yet. Excellent. Are we making progress? Yes, we are. I forgot about the planes, as usual. I can't deploy extra planes, sadly, because I don't have the manpower at the moment. Oh, do you want to give me garrison manpower? No. How about you, Romania? No. Let's get an Italian operative. Italy seems like a threat. How are you guys doing? Well enough. Doctrine, superior firepower, please. The soft attack bonus is just brilliant. Oh, no defenses here. Move quickly. Take stuff. Make them chase you around. Yes, excellent. I'm not sure I'll be able to win this alone, but I can always call the Germans in. Go, take Volgograd. Move around more. Surrounded enemies, nice. We'll take the south relatively easily. Although you guys, are you aggressive? You should be aggressive. Yeah, I know you don't have supply. We don't have time for this. We don't have time for your lack of supply. Just eat whatever you find. Looking good. And well, they've retaken Moscow, so surrender is further away than it was. Decrypt them again. Your capital's Leningrad now. Yeah, right. Last corruption government operation is finished. And you surrender if you have 50% of your victory points. Can I try and take Moscow from you? Well, I can try, but can I take it? Some manual orders seem necessary here. Mop this up quickly and go back north. This war is going to cost us dearly, and maybe it would be better to call the Germans in. But if I do, they will want a peace. And I'd rather not give anything up. Offensive doctrine, please. You can become an offense specialist. Have one already. No, thank you. Could use an infantry guy. Can I get Leningrad? If I can get Moscow and Leningrad, because these guys did go through the enemy lines, I might just have enough to make them surrender. We have to be aggressive and we have to push with all we have, because otherwise we will not be able to press the advantage that we have. And the advantage that we have is that they are recovering from a civil war, 
and they don't have enough troops right now. If I leave them for a year or something, they will crush me. Uh, they are cutting off my troops, which is always a risk. I'm making desperate moves. It really does look like I might be onto something. Just try and quickly get to Moscow from the other side. If they don't intercept me, it might end up wonderful. If you're being intercepted, don't go around. Avoid people. Expand aluminium industry. It's a good thing that Chosovaki agreed. Without them, we wouldn't be able to pull this off alone. I'm still not sure if we will manage to pull this off alone. I'm sure we wouldn't without Chosovaki. You guys, switch to infantry and be used as reinforcements. You, there. You, there. Are we going to succeed? Maybe. Hm, doesn't look like it. Well, they are surrounding my attempts, but I'm still making progress. We're out of manpower and out of equipment, but they are more out of these things. So my desperate moves to go and grab the most important victory points are actually not doomed to fail. They might work out. Like you guys, for example. Run to Leningrad. Can you pull that off? And you guys, focus on Moscow. And you will get some bonuses soon. Extra organization and the cipher in just four days. Here you go. Activate the cipher and start producing the better guns. Who can I invite to my faction? France! Huh. Well, if I do that, France will be able to call Germany into my war. That's the disadvantage. The advantage is we will rule over France, kind of. So it is probably a good choice to invite them. We are close to winning. I could wait a bit longer. Try and get Leningrad, because when you do, we win. I'll try to invite France before the end. We're holding Moscow. Nice. Hmm. Estonia and Finland are one. We're going to improve relations with France, just so they don't uh, change the, their mind about being in the faction. Hmm. France asks to join. Hmm. Volgograd is up for the taking. Perhaps that will be sufficient. How far are you from capitulation? Much closer, but not just there yet. You know what? I'm going to accept France joining my faction. Yes, they called the Germans in, but they will not manage to get enough war score in time to mess with my plans, I think. Oh, Tva is here. That's a decent amount of victory points. And Smolensk. The Germans will take it, probably. Still 0%. Alright, the enemy should surrender soon. Now, I'm hoping nobody is going to assume leadership, because 1. Manpower and 2. I'll get a lot of factories once this is done. Fifth research slot, please. I get that manpower faster. Improved worker conditions. Will taking small risk be enough? Probably not. All right. It's about time you surrendered. Give up now. Come on, just a moment longer. Better guns, I forgot about that. And trains, forgot about trains too. Come on, surrender. Yes. Just one more victory point. 99% there. Oh, and we can get the next doctrine. Oh, come on. Just a victory point. Whichever one. And they surrender. Don't they? Yes, they do. And I have all the points. Ah, I should have waited with accepting France because Germany did get some points as well. What I, what I can do is try and take everything. I should have enough points to actually take everything. And there's a lot of clicking to do it. That's all we can do in this round. And my friend from France and Germany wants some stuff. But I'm not going to give them any stuff because I'm going to take all the stuff. Let's take all the coastal bits first. Maybe that will dissuade them from wanting. Maybe I can even annex their fleet. Well, take over their fleet or whatever that's called. Just take everything from the list. The others want stuff, and they're not getting it. Because I take everything. Because I can afford to do that. And I also take all your fleet. Oh, did someone else take it already? Everything is mine. I'm gonna have to keep repeating that until they run out of points. But I have way more points. Excellent. And the, and the conference? Austria-Hungary is here. And we have 100% compliance. Which means I have enough factories to preserve control of it. Yes, I have enough factories to preserve control of the faction. Actually, if I unpause, shouldn't I have a bit more? Let it adjust. 178 factories. We haven't been embargoed by the United States for some reason. And we can create a collaboration government. Now, the problem with the collaboration government is we'll actually get less factories if we do so. But we can steal their manpower, get more of it. We're, we're not getting a lot of manpower from them because it's non-core stuff. Also, Habsburg. I think we will actually be better off with the collaboration government. Uh, let's do a quick check of occupied territories. We get 99% of their factories and 1% of their manpower. We're using some garrisons, but with 100% compliance, this will go down very soon. What I could do is create a federal empire with a lot of very small puppets all around their territory, which would not give me uh, the uh, collaboration that they do, but would probably give me more factories total once they use their focus trees. Now, we don't have to decide right away. I'm gonna click not ready yet and take a break and think about what to do next. Now, we have created, accidentally created a wonderful faction. Romania, France, Germany will all follow our interests. What are those interests? Well, 
I suppose we could beat up the Italians. Sadly, I cannot reintegrate the Empire without owning Romania. But the perk of being a faction leader is I can kick them from the faction if I wanted to. And then I can just attack them. And I can use France and Germany to beat up the Italians. This has been quite intense though, so I do need a break back in a moment. Well, for you in a moment. For me, it's probably gonna be tomorrow. I had a break, I had a think, and I have a plan. Actually, several plans. First things first, what do we do with Russia? Three options here. We can keep the territory because we have 100% compliance, which means we'll get manpower and resources and factories from it. Option number two, we can make a collaboration government. And option number three, we could actually release some like, I don't know, 50 subjects from their territory. That would be wonderful. Mm, sorry, not 50, 40. And if we did that, each of them would get their own focus tree with extra factories, specifically seven extra factories in the focus tree, which would mean 280 extra factories for our faction over time. The problem with that is we are non-aligned, which means they would be released as puppets, normal puppets, which give me no factories at all initially. Now I could lower their independence, but that's some work. It would look cool though. I've decided to keep this territory for myself. At least for now, I might release puppets later, we'll see. Now, strategic decisions. We have to fight someone, but who? Our faction is the mightiest in the world. We should be able to take on anyone. So, three options. Take out the Italians, because they shouldn't get guaranteed by anyone since Italy is fascist. And we would get Italy, Yugoslavia, Albania, Bulgaria and Estonia, including Finland. Really no downsides to this plan. Plan number two. Attack Britain. Take them out early when they have no allies and when the Raj is not a major power yet, at least I think they're not. Can I check that? They don't seem to be. Drawbacks of this plan? I don't have a navy to launch a naval invasion. I can build one, but currently I have... Uh, how much do I have? One destroyer. This could be remedied by France playing well, but that's not something that usually happens. But who knows? Maybe together with Germany they would actually give me mm, naval superiority in the English Channel. So it's definitely something to consider. And option number three, befriend the United States. This can be done by fighting the same people they fight. And they are likely to fight Japan. If they are attacked by Japan or they attack Japan, we might decide to do the same thing so that we can befriend them. I'm really tempted to release those 40 small puppets, you know. Ah, well, let's start decrypting Italy and the UK. And send some spies over and start working on the collaboration government in Italy. Right, uh, I did take a break. The game was off, so after loading the save, perhaps the AI will make some decisions, so let's pause for a moment and see if anything changes. Alright, nothing major. Now my allies are still at war with Tuva and Mongolia, let's ignore that. And I think we should start justifying a war goal on Italy. 125 days, looks about right. Is my army enough to beat up Italy? Hmm, maybe, because I have Romania and France in my alliance, so they might uh, put enough troops on their borders so that I can, you know, crush them. But it, it's not a sure thing, we'll see. Do I need more troops? I probably need more troops. Oh, I would also need to deal with these two borders. This makes me reconsider making uh, puppets, because they can serve as deterrents. Let's just make more troops. Two armies, 39 units. United Kingdom attacked Iraq. Can I use that to my advantage? Who are you at war with? Just Iraq. And you have war goals on the Netherlands. Oh, that's from the oil stuff. You know, perhaps, if I guarantee the Netherlands, can I do that? No, because they're democratic, leaning towards fascism. The Netherlands do have a navy. They could help me deal with the United Kingdom and I would get them into my faction this way. Perhaps the UK is a better target, after all. Let's see if they attack the Netherlands as well. They do. I kinda wanna help the Netherlands. And the French will gladly fight the Brits, their age-old enemy. Alright, I think I'm gonna change my plans. Cancel the justification on Italy. Start one on the Brits. Unless you wanna join my faction, I can't invite you. You know what? Let's attack the Brits. Which means I kinda need to research. Naval invasions. I have one destroyer. One. But perhaps it will be sufficient. You guys are going to have to guarantee the safety of my ports. I will send you more troops. I don't want the Brits to invade them. If I fight them, Tanatuva and Mongolia will probably join the Allies, so we'll have to send an army there. Right, you got the ports. And they attack Iran as well. Yeah, we'll get you into my faction. Netherlands, Iraq and Iran should join us soon. If I'm fast enough to save the Netherlands, that is, we challenge the British pretensions. You guys go here. Be ready to save the Netherlands, if we're fast enough. We question the motives of the United Kingdom. Of course we do. Come on, Netherlands, defend yourself better. We've been embargoed, not a problem. I oh, could have attacked Turkey. They're guaranteed by the Brits. We would get more stuff. Ah, it's fine. Come on, Netherlands. And we have our final research slot. We'll get some claims on Poland. We could actually use that to attack both sides of their civil war quickly. Hold on, Netherlands. 
Just a moment longer and no. Netherlands have been beaten up. Well, they did not join the Allies. They're still democratic just like they were. That was rather pointless, wasn't it? Well, I'm committed to beating up the Brits, so let's hope it works out. And we'll get Iraq and Iran in our faction. Now, I'm gonna need some ships produced. I'm gonna need some license production. Something cheap. See, submarines are less useful now, but I really like them still because they have very good range. So let's do this. Give me license production of submarines. I intend to help Iraq and Iran, so let's send some troops over there. The fight in Africa, I, I suppose I could do a bit. Send some troops to African bits, reinforce the garrisons, and these three armies will stand guard in northern Germany. Why are you scrapping this? No valid base to deploy to. What? Why? Why not here? Why not in Leningrad? What's going on here? Deploy to Leningrad. Join the task force, that's better. Can you do that? Where's the task force? In Ukraine, that's fine. Relocate to Germany. Can you do that? Oh, you can't exit. God damn it. I might need to kill Turkey. You know what? I'm going to hope, beyond hope, that France does a good job and gets me supremacy in the channel. Even going to assign all my planes there if they can help even a little bit. Prepare collaboration government in the UK. My spies are busy right now, but it doesn't matter. We can prepare it anyway. Claims on Galicia are done. Bukovina, that's fine too. So I could justify war goals on Poland. Wait a minute, I have claims here. Oh, only have claims on Polish Peasant Union. Well, I could attack them both simultaneously, but I have other stuff to do. Concentrated Industry 5. Just because we have a bonus, we'll manage to do it quickly. Mexico attacking Guatemala. The United States will not intervene because they're guaranteeing Mexico as well. Mexico going very aggressive today. Transport ships are done. Time to do some orders. Right. 10 units on naval invasion orders, hoping that we get supremacy from our allies. It's probably a silly hope. Let's get landing uh, craft 2, because we might need that for Japan. El oh, interesting. El Salvador, probably being attacked by Mexico, joined up with Japan. Which means Japan is about to fight Mexico. An interesting development. Guatemala joined them as well. Now we have a chance of success if France and Germany are smart and concentrate their fleets here. I wish I could let them know that I need them to do that. All right, let's attack Britain and call everyone in. Go on, France. Ah, you've joined already. So, how about that naval supremacy? France, why are you not doing anything? Oh, there is some friendly supremacy over here. This might actually work out. Do you have intel? Do you need intel? I just need some more supremacy. This might work. Come on, come on. 48% there. Dutch East Indies. Oh, they popped the Dutch East Indies. I didn't realize that. Volunteers from Italy. Yes. Come on. All I need is one naval invasion. South Africa. They moved for a moment. That's all I need. Oh, Germany. Wonderful work. Just need one of the ports. Mongolia joined the others. See, I expected that. I talked about expecting that. I did not send troops. But Germany did. And that's enough. Yeah, Britain is actually landing in France. Should I help them? Perhaps. But first, let's see if I can land my troops in Britain. Tuva, Mongolia joined the others. Yes, yes. That's not important. Guarded port, guarded port. We've landed, but it's not a port. So, a run to the port quickly. Perhaps it will work. Polish peasant union joined allies. Why? This is very strange. Well, we do border them. They do have claims on their territory, which means... Here we go. Oh, wait a minute, where did I send you? Oh yeah, I can uh, get you guys into my faction, can't I? Invite a faction. I cannot because of the wrong ideologies. Shouldn't they ask themselves then? Well, looks like these guys don't need to be here. In that case, you... Actually, you will be the ones going to Poland. You will go to Britain as I planned initially. And you guys... Do I care about the fight in Africa? Not really, but it can give me some more participation. So I'll send an army there. But so only one army landed so far, and it was an undefended port. I can already see this one is defended. We need to go elsewhere. How about Liverpool? No, it's a big victory point, so it's going to be defended as well. How about this little one here? This looks promising. Ah, we got Rosyth. Rosyth? Anyway, this one next to Edinburgh. And that's all we need. So, there we go. Oh, you're not in a port? You're in a port. I don't have enough convoys. That's all, that's all right. So, cancel the naval invasions prevent here, because they had convoys reserved. You go there as well. Cancel your orders too. We shall also move to this location. Everybody just create a front line. Excellent. You, can you take London for me? Uh, another change of plans. You, you're not going to Africa. Nobody's going to Africa. You are going to Poland and you are going to Mongolia and Tuva. And this one port will spell my victory over the Brits and we can invite Senationist Poland to our faction. But we don't really want to, you know? Because if we do, we'll get this territory. And again, do I need more territory or do I need more friends? If I attack other Poland, we could get all of Poland. How good are you? 
49 factories, that's pretty decent. You know what? Ruling over them in a faction is good enough. Although I do want some of these territories. Perhaps I can take them anyway. Alright, you've convinced me. Invite to faction. Join me. And together we blah blah blah. Our guys are on their way, we just don't have enough convoys to send them all at the same time. Won't need the submarines anymore, just one factory on those. Make more convoys. They're sending you troops to help. Too little, too late. The Brits are notoriously terrible at defending their home, which means once my three armies that I'm sending here land, they will get crushed. I do need more convoys though. What are you sending me? Uh, guns, sure. That will lower my war score a bit, but not significantly. Right, now we can activate. Give me the port. Military theorist. Oh, I have a lot of port copper. I could use industrial concern and inventory equipment. No, I can get this port now. But I can. Can I get London? I can. Oh, and I can also get this port if I so choose. Let's just keep this guy in London as a distraction while my forces attack from the north. I know one port is not enough supplies, but we'll soon have more. Got Glasgow already. Want me to fight? Yeah, yeah, sure. I will fight the Polish Peasant Union too. Did you annex all the territory? I do have claims here, you know. Perhaps in the peace conference I will actually be able to take the territories. Not likely, but possible. As you can see, the Brits terrible at defense. And I have prepared a collaboration government mission there. You know what? I'm going to send my remaining uh, agents on the mission because I'll have 30% compliance from them after the war. Communist China, Joint Corporate Prosperity Sphere doesn't matter to me. Or does it? Am I at war with Communist China? I don't think so. I am not. Another Italian operative, please. And you go to Britain. Can't really claim Transylvania, with Romania being in my faction. I can get some small boosts here and there. France, do you want to send me convoys? No. Oh well, I'll accept what you give. Brits are getting crushed. Are they the only major country? Yes, they are. What is my participation? 13%? Are you serious? Oh, Poland is getting majority credit. I don't want to kick them now. Although, if they get stuff, I do rule over them, so it won't really be a problem. We have been embargoed by the Swiss. Do we care? Not really. They do need more war score. The Polish have received a lot for having these wars joined, which is not great for me. Not great at all. Perhaps I can make it up in Mongolia. Have you arrived yet? Yes. And you are aggressive. Oh, you can be an infantry specialist. Excellent. He's a field marshal, but it's not really an issue. Let's hire him. Now, if I prolong this war and not capitulate Britain too quickly, I will probably get more pool in the peace conference. But ultimately, uh, I am the faction leader, so it doesn't really matter if, say, Poland gets half of Britain, because if I want half of Britain, I can just kick Poland and take half of Britain. I'm not justifying a war goal, am I? I should be. But there's still the United States to worry about. They do guarantee a lot of people, so they shouldn't be able to guarantee anyone. There's a chance they'll, you know, intervene. Let's just lay this play out before we do more. Can I get the most score, please? Maybe. Although they are about to surrender, so maybe not. Too capitulated. The war is about to be over. Germany, great job on the naval supremacy. And they capitulate. Now, I have claims on three provinces down here. And I want to take them because I might be able to make them my core territories. Poland will contest me on this, but it's not that crucial. What else do I need? I need Canada. And I'd like the British fleet. That costs me a lot. I need Canada because if we are to fight the United States, which we can do, although I would prefer to be friends with them, I'm gonna need these territories. Do we need a British puppet? Perhaps. Now, let's just go one tag this time. Gimme. Submit demands. Of course, Poland is going to contest this, and Germany wants bits of Britain. They want Malta and Sussex. Not sure why these in particular. I'm gonna claim these too. These three, as I might be able to make them core. Sussex. Do I wanna give you Sussex? Sure. You're in my faction. I rule over you. Let's forfeit these and just pick other bits. Now, normally I could fight Germany on this and get everything, but I'm already fighting Poland, and Poland has the most war score, bizarrely. So I'm gonna let Germany have what they want. Get all the territories. Submit demands. Germany is contesting a lot of this stuff. I definitely want the three Polish ones. Greater London area. See, I don't really care about what I get. I just want a lot. Except for these bits in Poland that I might be able to make core. So I'll forfeit these and just pick un unclaimed stuff. Sussex is unclaimed this round. I'll claim it again, I guess, so as not. These territories don't have a lot of factories, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. From Poland, I only want these three. Although, if I could take this and connect my territories... No, no. If I need to connect, I'll take Romania. The Polish Peasant Union, we don't need more from them. I take all of Australia. Oh, let's take all of Australia. Maybe we'll create the Kiwi Empire. And New Zealand. France wants Mongolia. Actually, I'm gonna contest you on that. I'm gonna contest them on Mongolia and Tanutuva, because I want this, these bits. Should I contest them on everything? Well, I don't really care about getting, say, Ceylon, or New South Wales, or North Island. You know what, I'm just gonna forfeit everything, and then just retake all the ones that I actually want. I want Tanutuva. Not sure if this makes it more expensive. I don't think so. I want Mongolia and Tanutuva because it makes me look better. I want Australia, because I want to make a Kiwi Empire, if I choose to do so. British bits. 
this was not claimed this round. Take all the currently unclaimed British bits. Dutch East Indies. It's a lot of, there's a lot of rubber there, I think. Uh, Germany can have some. And let's take bits of the Raj. This will do. Submit demands. I got my Polish bits. Good. I'll fit everything temporarily. It's going to be easier to manage it that way. Take the ones I want. And unclaimed stuff. Singapore. Pretty expensive, isn't it? There's tons of rubber though. And tungsten. Okay, Singapore it is. Let's take South Africa. And some unclaimed bits. Actually, I want to get the Raj as well. Some bits of the Raj at least. Submit demands. Can I actually fight them on Singapore? I can't fight them on Singapore. Really? I have not enough score. I would like to take Singapore. Can I do that? No. Actually, there are a few things wrong with the peace conference because it looks like nobody's gonna get British Raj. Like it's gonna become independent. Um, cancel this. Right, what if I just puppet you with one province? Well, I got the rest. And with Malaya? No, too expensive. There's still some unclaimed stuff. Let's do New Zealand. And anything that's unclaimed. Right, this will do. Contested bids. Uh, resolve on con all contested demands. Which one is contested? Uganda. I don't care about Uganda. Let's uh, forfeit that. Submit demands. Are you gonna fight me again? Mm -hmm. Don't really care about any of these. Forfeit them. Okay. Can I take more? Let's pass. See, I pass a few times, and there's unclaimed stuff in the British Raj. So what? Is it just gonna become independent? Right. Let's do confirm and exit, and see what happens. Yeah, British Raj. Just, there wasn't enough. Oh, UK still remained alive, somehow. See, that's the problem I have with the new peace conference thing. Where are you, Britain? Here. Here's the United Kingdom. Next to Nigeria, who apparently exists. So what, do I have to fight you again? And there's two Indias. One's my subject, the other is independent. So, if I were to... I, I'm not opposed to the new peace conference. It's actually pretty good. Uh, but the problem is that... There's just not enough points at the end. See, I think even after like the last round, because you only get points for five rounds, you should get them forever, but maybe very small increments later on, so that stuff like this doesn't happen. Or, yeah, UK remaining here. We got a lot of territory. Let's use civilian oversight. Britain still exists. They all ran to Nigeria. This is some wonderful chaos. If we look at the factions map mode, yeah, the Habsburg faction is reigning supreme everywhere. The Japanese have... Uh, branched out a bit. So, do we hunt down the rest of the allies that survived thanks to the peace conference mechanics, or do we kill Italy? Hmm. Both options are valid. Who's still in your faction? Raj and Malaya. Oh, nobody took Singapore. You fought me for Singapore, but you did not take it. That wasn't very smart. And I don't have direct access to UK's territory. I will send an army here. If they decide to fight me, I'll kill them. Now, I think it's time to crush Italy. Or we could kick Romania and crush Romania. They are helpful, but, uh, you know, I have cores here. Well, not yet, but I could have cores here. Now, let's kill Italy first, just for a war goal. And you guys get ready to fight. Nice amount of manpower, mostly non-core. No, oh, actually, no, most is from cores. But we're getting significant non-core manpower as well. Nice amount of factories. Agent forced into hiding. All oh, right, what was I doing? I was working on more collaboration government operations. And you can prepare those because... Why? I just need more equipment. And one in the UK is in progress. So maybe I'll get extra compliance when it finishes. And this is fine. We do need some more factories doing support equipment, it seems. Hmm. Soon I might be able to actually equip my troops with extra stuff. Oh no, I have enough support equipment. It was just a temporary thingy. We also have enough infantry weapons, so what should we add to our template? Probably the usual anti-air recon artillery. Oh, maybe rocket artillery. That would be a lot of soft attack. I have to research them properly and produce lots. Let's start making some artillery. Now, I don't actually have to call my allies to this war if I can handle Italy alone. Although, my troops are not super powerful, so perhaps I should call them in. The thing is, I can actually access all my enemies directly. Do we need autarky and synthetic oil? No. I have to reclaim the empire. For that, we need Romania out of our faction. And this only gives me claims, not cores, right? Not much else to be done here. War games it is. Switch to balanced and start researching. Should we research the best guns yet? Yes. Yes, we should. Perhaps I should attack them, fight a bit, accumulate war score, and then call in some allies to kill them, ensuring we have the most war score when that happens. At least with the current amount of factories, the Germans will not be able to take over the faction. No oh, resistance, where? In Britain. Why is it so high? And I have enough guns for the garrisons. Well, I will, soon enough. Perhaps I should prioritize garrisons over operations. That will be better. Oh, the civil king. I, I don't think I built a single military factory this game. So wonderful. Because we're a very peaceful nation, that's why. Bypassed some focuses. Land doctrine. We'll need to free up some of these research slots. Justification for Italy is ready. 
Let's attack, but not call anyone in. Not yet. Let's see how well we do. Oh, I don't actually need to attack Yugoslavia. Oh, they called them in. That's fine. We've been embargoed by the United Kingdom. The one in Nigeria. Do you want to send me land lease? Sure. Can I win on my own? Also, you're not in this yet. I'm expecting you'll join, but if not, I can just justify my own war goals. We are making progress, so at least we'll have the majority war score. Let's justify on them as well. How was that? Japan beat China. Whoa, that's a big ass communist China allied with Japan. In that war with Mexico. Actually, taking communist China as a puppet is a wonderful thing. Might want to make it happen, but I no longer need to. Uh, not sure what that is, but it's certainly a bloody mess. Ah, Spanish Civil War is finally over. We might take them over later. Infantry. Could use manpower. Anybody want to give me garrison support? Anybody? No? Oh, that's a pity. Oh, unfortunately, my coalition government operation that was underway did not give me extra compliance once it finished after the war. Are they actually pushing me back? Oh no, I was mistaken. I thought they pushed me back. Romania going very communist. Well, that'll be our excuse to kick them out of the faction and conquer them, I suppose. India attacking Indian People's Republic. Sure, now that it really matters. Oh, this is nice. Boost to the infantry. Home defense it is. We're making my nice progress. I might be able to do it all on my own. Australia capitulated again to someone and Mexico attacked Panama. Not sure if keeping this army here just to crush the Brits eventually is a good choice. Kinda want to. Yay, everybody's joining the Japanese faction. More chaos. Sadly, I am out of manpower. Let's go to service by requirement. I could remedy that by doing a collaboration government in Russia and using their manpower. Oh, you joined the war. Good. I no longer want to. Need to. Justify war goal, but I can't stop. And the United States want to help me. Nice. Build up some infrastructure in our resource-rich territories. That'll help us a bit. Oh, I haven't been researching excavation. Forgot about that. Need to do that too. I have a lot of political power, so let's do these raids. They increase stability a little bit once they're over. National leadership in China. How much manpower do you have, Mao? 7 to 17 million. That's not too much for you. Italian cipher finally decrypted. Activated the cipher. Not forgetting it this time. Oh, you guys attacked Norway while I'm conquering you. Well, Norway, wanna join my faction? Well, you don't, apparently. Not sure why Norway won't wanna join. Why don't you like me? Enemy agent turned. Let's infiltrate the Italian army, because we can. France wants to send me stuff. Sure, if you're not in the war, then your contribution won't matter. Oh, oh right, everybody is in the war now, because... France was guaranteeing Sweden, Estonia attacked Sweden, thus France joined the entire war against Estonia and all the others. I still don't need anybody else. France, are you fighting Italy as well? Well, yes, yes you are. In that case, extend this front line and attack from Bulgaria as well. And this army here is pretty much useless. Let's not waste their potential fighting there. Fight here instead. Give us some more war score by beating up the Italians. Why are you not progressing here? You should be progressing here. I'm gonna make them aggressive. Because now we are the overwhelming force, now that everyone's joined. Thus being aggressive is the right thing to do. Inventory weapon boost. Actually, I should probably use it to complete the best guns first. Faster. I'm already one third the way there. Could use it afterwards for this. Hmm. Just 5% attack though. Let's keep on going. See, this is why I didn't want to have everybody join. My participation is going down. It's still the highest, but it is going down. Although if it stays above, say, 60%, I might be able to take everything. And of course I want everything. Bulgaria capitulates and Mexico embargoes us, of all people. British Raj beat up some people. Doesn't really matter. They shouldn't exist, they should have been annexed in uh, the peace deal, but <laughs> there was not enough points for everybody. Right, you guys are doing great. You, finish them off. Forward observers, sure. Yugoslavia capitulates. Finish off Albania as well. I would like my operation in Italy to be finished before they capitulate. Can we have that? 44 days. I would need to stop my advance, probably. Although they are still far from capitulation. Maybe it's fine. We'll go balanced, rather than aggressive. Italo Balbo is deposed. Don't you start a civil war on me. Right, this is taken care of. This is nearly taken care of. Alright, alright. You don't need to take Rome. No rush here. Wait for the operation to finish. It's gonna let me use their stuff better. Just 24 days. Wow! I did not expect that. Japan declared war on me. Japan! Huh. Well, that's gonna be a way bigger fight than I anticipated. Fortunately, our war with Italy is almost over, but unfortunately, I don't have any troops here. Then again, fortunately, this territory is not quick or easy to traverse. Maybe I'll get myself a communist China puppet. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Not a civil war in Italy, no. No, I refuse. Trusted the no! What Italian ally? I n am not approving any Italian ally. Although, you do become my puppet. 
Hmm. I have good compliance there, or I will. No, I'm not giving you territory. Also, stop attacking Rome, Germany. And my guys, stop attacking Rome. Actually, stop attacking what's all together. Yeah, yeah, Japan is fighting us. Just a moment, I need to finish off Italy first. 14 days, sending spies over. Oh, I have not called everyone in to my defense in the war against Japan. I should do so. I definitely should do so. That's gonna be helpful. Call everyone. All right, finish the oppression, then finish the war. Quite a bit more chaotic than I expected. Don't surrender yet. Four more days, and then we will take Rome. I'm kind of ignoring my eastern territories. I'll send troops there soon. Mission complete. Kill them now. And they surrender. So, I do get a puppet, but I don't really want a puppet. I want territory. We do have the most score. Let's focus on the bits that will recreate our empire. Submit demands. Contest all demands. Demand more stuff. Do we need Bulgaria? Actually, I can let Romania have it. It's not important. I do want Italy. Demand everything. Oh, Germany is actually wanting to give this stuff to my puppet. Should I forfeit these? I can just annex them later. And I don't get cores on these, do I? I don't think so. Alright, this is fine. We can do it like that. I'll take the northern bit then. Estonia, Finland League. Give me everything. Italian, Yugoslavia, give me everything. Do we need Bulgaria or do we want Romania to have it? Oh, fleet. Can I have some fleet? It's expensive. Maybe let's not. Submit our demands for this round. Demand everything. Again, submit demands. I'll leave some score for later. Looks like Germany fed all of Italy to my puppet Italy. I'm fine with that. I can just next them later. Let's take some Bulgaria. We can afford that after all, so let's. Oh, I can't demand that much. All right, Romania, you can have a bit. Or oh, forfeit Moesia. And you can have a Burgas as well. How about that? Excellent. And we even have some score left to maybe get... Oh, can we get ships? Okay, that's it. Confirm an exit, please. Just see if there's any unclaimed... There is unclaimed territory. God damn it. Can I untake the navy? Well, crap. There's gonna be stuff that's not taken by anyone. That's my mistake, I suppose. Oh, well. Should have checked it before taking the navy. And the conference. See, this... Oh, it went to my puppet. Okay, then. Hungarian Italy. Cool. Now, they're just a normal puppet, so I don't get any factories from them. But they do answer to me, and I can annex them if I want to. So, cool. Yay. Wonderful. Now, what else do I need if I wanted to reform the empire or whatever? Reintegrate the empire. I would need to beat up and annex Romania. But I have bigger trolls right now because Japan attacked me. But that is a matter for another game session because I'm going to bathe my son now and then probably sleep. Took another break to be more efficient with a fresh mind. How do we approach this? What's my fleet? Oh, it's actually pretty big. The real question is, can it leave? Can it? No, it cannot. Which means if I want to use it to kill Japan, of course I could rely on someone else, but I will need to launch a naval invasion myself. I will need to beat up Turkey first. And Turkey is guaranteed by the United Kingdom. Okay, that's good to know. United Kingdom does exist still. It's here. I guess I'll kill them just to get my fleet out. Alternatively, I could just rely on the Germans giving me naval superiority or something like that. It's also an option. Although I really do think we need to send some troops here. Is it yet time to upgrade our forces or do we go for a second army group first? I think we should go for a second army group first. Let's get these guys over here. If nothing else, taking all that territory will give us all the wall participation we may want. Because that doesn't really matter, but can be helpful. Oh, I should send troops down here as well. Alright, the guys that are currently in Africa can deal with that. Go do stuff. Working on the manpower. Garrison is taking up quite a bit. Should I switch to local police force for less garrison? Let's try local police force. Spy time. I'm actually more interested in compliance in communist China than I am in compliance with Japan. But let's do Japan too. And decrypt them. Oh, Siam is allied to them as well. Uh, well, I did send an army, so I guess they can handle both Siam and the North. I will send more troops once we've deployed them. Starting to think that maybe I should have released the Soviet Union as a collaboration government just because of the manpower. It would have been very helpful. More troops, please. Well, I do have Italy, and they have half a million manpower, which is not a lot, but it can help. So I suppose I'll be using some of their troops. And we can invite Mexico to our faction. Do we want to? Are you gonna attack the United States and get me killed? Ah, you know what? Why not? Let's get them in. Japan attacked British Malaya. So you're gonna be fighting the Brits. Now, if they attack the Philippines, that's gonna be good for me. Yeah, British Raj is joining on our side. It's a small country, it shouldn't exist, based on what, you know, happened before. But it does, so it's good it's on our side. Germany wants to send me stuff, what is it? I suppose. I'll get a lot of war score anyway. Let's utilize domestic film industry. We do have the political power. Get some war bonds going. Oh, and the steel mill, sure. I should work on reducing Italy's independence. Oh, that's another free army. Let's send you down over here as well. Can you get there in time? 
you set them to garrison the ports and we will distribute them when they get here. Ah, Germany's already coming and France. I must say I like these random worlds. It's, act it's entirely accidental that Germany and France are in my faction and Romania, but it's working out great. Although I still should betray Romania. Did I send too many troops up north? Probably. I should work on getting the supply situation there to be acceptable. But first I want them to get to the front lines, because otherwise I'll just build supply hubs for my enemies. And I comment on Pact. Sure, there's no comment on anymore, but sure, if it'll make them feel better. Can we reach the port in time? Ratanakosin Kingdom. Well, I'm gonna conquer you all the same. Interesting, I could make my man field marshal into a logistics specialist. That could actually work out. Let's check other options first. Yeah, let's do that. I already have an offense expert. Excellent. Excellent. I want to do a coalition government against communist China, so that I can make them, you know, a puppet. And then maybe Japan, but it's less important. Ah, first troops are arriving, excellent. Let's wait for some more before we send them to the front line. The ports are crucial after all. Ooh, maybe allowing Mexico into our faction was a mistake. They're going to get a lot of participation. Start attacking. Are the front lines established? Yes. So let's get better supply there. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot I could attack them from the south as well. Well, France will deal with that. Oh. Not the whole front line is covered yet. Some supply hubs in random places around the area. Let's get this up to level 2. Alright, commissioned some supply hubs and railways. All should be well soon enough. Now, once my guys reach around here, I'll have to take your supply in the area as well, but it's uh, less important. Oh, and we got connected. Excellent. No, we didn't. It's a mountain. Well, France is doing stuff. That's good. Deploy troops. Let's use some Italian manpower. 400,000, copy their colonial division, make it a 12 with standard infantry, just call it Italians. I can switch around half of you guys to the Italian template without exhausting their manpower. No. Let's use them as reinforcements. Right, that fills up this army group. Can I replace this field marshal? Just a level 3. Let's replace him with this level 5. Oh, I did make him an improvisation expert, which is, I suppose, a waste. Or was he that from the start? You know what? It's fine. Doesn't really matter. Lots of field marshals. Now let's observe uh, the Italian manpower. Using all of it. Good. Now I have three armies I could use here. I could send them over to Asia. However, I'm thinking of conquering Turkey instead, just so my fleet can escape. They are untrained people, so it might be a bit difficult, but we'll attack from three sides. Go, get ready. Artillery boost. Portugal fighting Spain, not my problem, fortunately. I could make it my problem, but I have no need to do so. Alright, most of my people have arrived down here. Attack north. How's the supply situation? It's... Actually, supply hubs are very slow to build, which actually seems a bit unrealistic. Like, uh, I mean, I suppose that's fine if it takes a long time to build. Maybe you let me put more factories on it or something. Yeah, it doesn't matter that much. Germans securing my border. Excellent work, Germans. If we attack Turkey, the UK will want to join, reportedly. So let's get half of these guys, send them over here. If only Turkey would give me access. Maybe you will. No, you will not. Well then, in that case, goodbye Turkey. Unless, say, the United Kingdom guarantees them. Sorry, the United States. The United Kingdom already does, and I don't care much about that. Ooh, level 6, nice. Collaboration government for communist China. Not ready for one in Japan. And lower Italian independence. That gives me more factories. Should we go for a third army group? I do have the equipment, but there's only so many people we can stack up in one province. Also, you guys are still on your way. I'm gonna hold them, just so they can redistribute properly. Also, why are you not... Are you moving? You are moving, okay. Let's do smoke and the fire. Anti-Soviet Pact, sure. On this side, rather than building supply hubs, we should be building ports. They're also faster. Anti-Soviet Pact, yeah, yeah, not a problem. Participation could be better, but we're working on it. Hmm, Portugal looks like it's gonna beat Spain. You guys are having some supply trouble, aren't you? Well, I'm working on it. At least we're doing fine down south. Japanese cipher, use it right away. Decrypt communist China in the meantime, and do a coalition government against Japan as well. Just use the guys that are in Japan. The network will crumble, but then they can rebuild it. We're doing fine, we just need the supply hubs to build faster. Ooh, they did push us out down here. Well, we weren't really down here, the Germans were. Whoa. Switzerland joins against me. <laughs> That's surprising. Uh, I do have troops that are ready to fight. It's fine. We just need a third army group. Here we go. Field Marshal. How many armies do I need? There's a lot of them. Maybe three. Switch you to infantry and get in position. All right, go. I'm assuming they'll get reinforced on the way. Need to protect France. Last participation. It's fine. Right, the border is secured. Two armies would have sufficed. But let's be a bit overkill with that. Sweden is guaranteeing Turkey. I suppose I can kill Sweden. Shouldn't be too much trouble. The United States wanna join me yet? Come on, attack Japan. 
Right, doing well against Switzerland. Then I can repurpose this army to kill Sweden. Portugal doing great. You won't be friends. You wouldn't. Manchuko claims into China. Does it matter? Shouldn't. How's that supply situation? Yeah, not great, but working on it. Looks like I don't need another army prepared for Sweden. We'll just uh, finish uh, Switzerland before that. Although they will have bonuses on core territory. That could be dangerously powerful. Ah, we'll see in a moment. Progress. Nice. Ah, Switzerland capitulated faster than I expected. Then even got territory. Excellent. Now you guys, hmm, did I try a naval invasion? I should. I should try a naval invasion of Turkey. Something this should do. And the rest of you, go kill Sweden. Since they seem to want to antagonize me by guaranteeing Turkey. Now, the navy. Even have the admiral. Finally, you'll see some action. I don't really have any focuses I really want. I could do air force focuses. Ah. And the best guns are finally ready. And the United States want to send me stuff. Excellent, let's be friends. Come on, join my faction. You can because tons of stuff. I'm gonna give you docking rights, just so you know we're friends. Maybe that will prompt you to attack Japan. Justification for Hungary is over. My guys are not yet in position. Time for the best guns. Buy some steel from Germany. Boost their economy. They need it, I suppose. Although no, I shouldn't be boosting Germany, because they could try and take over the faction. They won't manage to do that, but they could try. Perhaps boosting France would be better. Ah, well, it's fine either way. PRC declared. People's Republic of China is here. Well, I'm gonna take you over. Okay, Portugal took over Spain and created puppets. Several. They would actually make a good ally if they wanted that. You guys in position yet? Almost. Well, the naval invasion have not prepared. That's my fault. I should have created smaller naval invasions. And do I have supplies up here? I have enough supplies up here. Suppose I could make uh, several ports. Now we'll take over ports. It's fine. Just let them get their organization up. Should I relocate my agent? Not yet. We're almost done with our first coalition government against communist China. If I can make those collaboration governments happen, I could even take over all of this for free. Well, for free. Not in a peace conference. I could use the Chinese cipher. I'm not sure I should. Better artillery. Though no, this is ahead of time. I don't need this. That's fine. See, I'm preparing to add support companies to my guys. And soon, soon it'll be time. I still need to produce a lot of normal guns because, well, we're using them. It's time to actually start making all that support equipment. Gradually. All right, let's use the cipher. It's gonna help a bit. I forgot to research the trucks. It's 1941 and we don't know what a car is. It's time to attack Turkey. And Britain and Sweden, apparently. Call all my allies. Sweden and UK have been called in. That's fine, I'm ready for them. They're about to die. Sweden? All right, why am I not attacking Sweden? Let's get these guys on aggressive. That's better. I could probably make more ground if I made my guys in China aggressive. Especially now that I've improved the supply a little bit. Ooh, the British Raj. I forgot about them. Right, we have a border. How about we get one of you guys over there. One will be sufficient to hold the line. Go attack from this side. And the UK has surrendered. I only have 3%. Right, China's gonna try and take stuff. It, it hardly matters. I would like your navy though. If I puppet you, will I get your navy? I'm gonna try and puppet them, hoping the navy transfers to me. Of course I can take the navy directly, but if nobody has enough war score, yeah, I'll just, you know, get it. Mm, my puppet isn't taking stuff. Who's giving it to you? Yeah, that's fine. Let's assume that it's going to be given to them. Now, taking British Malaya, that's pretty expensive. I'm just going to submit my current demands and keep doing that. All right, so somebody is giving Raj's territory to my puppet India, which is fine. I like British Malaya. Can I puppet British Malaya? No, that's too expensive. I won't have enough score. All right, let's pass this round. We have 96 score. What do we want to do with it? What can we do with it? We can get a ship and that's all we can get. That's fine. All right, Sweden just the faction that's fine my puppet india gets a lot of stuff which is excellent now the real question is my new puppet ratio dundas are you hungarian britain do you have the navy you do excellent haha <laughs> So I did get the navy after all. Good choice then. And our progress here is so good that the naval invasion is unnecessary. Alright, destroy Turkey. Actually, I don't need to destroy them anymore. I mean, I could. It's just, uh... Oh. Oh. How do I have so many destroyers? Wait a minute. The Brits own them, don't they? Well, apparently not. I took one ship and got all the smaller ones. I don't know how this works. I like that it works. I just don't know how. Well, suddenly, I have a huge fleet. Let's merge you all into one. 200 destroyers. That's going to be more than enough. Oh, Hungary. Change their puppet state. That's not good. What was I? Oh yeah. That fleet is going to be sufficient, definitely sufficient, to take care of Japan. And how did this happen? Hmm. Say so it happened very unfortunately. Here, help a little bit. How Sweden? Why are you not attacking? Supply can't be that bad, can it? Instead of aggressive, you should be attacking anyway. All right, all right, let's build them a port. It's not gonna take that long. Turkey is 
taken care of mostly. Sweden, we're working on. Ooh, amphibious. Excellent. That's gonna be very useful very soon. Let's move you down south. Turkey capitulates. I get some of it. Go here to prepare some naval invasions. And you help contain Japan in the north. Got a job for everyone. Can build some military factories in Italy to reduce their independence and also get the military factories. Let's check the supply situation. Could be better. Why do you have the supply hubs? Just... Oh, we've moved the front line enough that they're no longer necessary or rather they're too far now. At least I can connect this one. It's gonna help a bit. Maybe get an extra one here. Advanced competing machine complete. Is it time for trucks? Yeah, I actually should have done that a long time ago. We could have helped our supply situation with those quite a lot. Oh well. Japanese cipher. Here we go. Decrypt China. Activate Japan. First operation in Communist China is complete, need two more. Participation, 46%. Excellent. Even got an enemy agent. Yeah, who got Singapore? Nobody. It's free. See, I don't like that about the new peace conferences. So by taking one major ship, I got all the screening ships, which means I paid for one ship and got 200 destroyers. Good strategy to know about. Now you relocate over to Saigon. Venezuela joined our enemies because Mexico keeps attacking people. It hardly matters. When Japan is defeated, all will crumble. Although I first need to get communist China on my... Well, not on my side. Controlled by me. And if all is well, I could actually turn all this territory into my collaboration government. Maybe even before the end of the war. Lower. Italian independence. Yes, Ecuador. Hey, <laughs> just keep attacking people. Are there any other major powers? Sweden? PRC and Japan are major powers. Sweden, oh, the port finished and now we progress. Actually, this port, well, let's just uh, say it doesn't need to be so high level. Sweden is trying naval invasions. Well, that's cute. Expert the delegator. Nice. With that, we can get two more armies to him if we want. Actually, I probably do want that, but uh, no, there's no need. Oh, Japan landed. That is a problem, but my troops are on the way. Perhaps the lack of supplies here is to our advantage because we don't want to uh, defeat China before we get the collaboration government in place. No more focuses for us. Nothing useful anymore. I guess I could do naval stuff, but it doesn't really give us much. Just some research, which I'm not gonna do anyway. You get that doctrine, I suppose. After that, repeating focuses. Use the Chinese cipher. Improve worker conditions. And anti-fascist raids and anti-democratic raids. Alright, we pushed Japan out. Nice. Might be time to start planning naval invasions. Actually, I'll do it from the north. Now, first thing I want to do is finish my collaboration government operations in communist China. But what do we do after that? There are two good ways to progress this. First is we just kill everything on the mainland and then create a collaboration government, thus getting all this territory essentially for free in the peace conference. Without the peace conference even. Or... We leverage the fact that we have the most participation and just take everything anyway. Third option, well, I have to capitulate communist China anyway, right? So I could just pause my attack on Sweden, use collaboration governments on Japan and communist China both, then maybe create a collaboration government, uh, like uh, pass the decision in Japan so we don't have to pay for it in the peace conference and do the mainland one after the war. Spies are so useful. You go back to Japan. Land lease from US. Japanese cipher. Sure, let's use it. Let's do resistance suppression. Finally researched the mythical truck. Time to make some. Oh, and I should be using them for supplies. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. Excellent. Increase production. I'm gonna add support rocket artillery to my units soon. Prepare my naval invasions of Japan. It's gonna take them a while to prepare, but uh, it's fine. I can wait. Because I'm waiting for the collaboration governments anyway. Now, another one against Japan. We can annex Italy if we so choose. There's no need for it yet, but we can. Oh, you're now to supplies again. All right, let's stop the advance on Sweden. Give them a couple of ports. Maybe even a supply hub. Although, no, supply hubs is a mistake. If you can get the port, ports are cheaper and faster. And overall better. Guatemala capitulates good. Get more support equipment. So who's using all that artillery? I have... 2,400 told artillery, told rocket artillery ready. If I were to add them to this template, yeah, I have enough. Also, change your ah, lucky clover. That's gonna be nice. Yeah, this is fine. I'll add more stuff later. Rocket artillery went to the front lines. That's gonna boost their soft attack significantly. Now, normal artillery will help with that too. Let's also produce anti-air for the same purpose. Once this finally completes, I'm going to put my troops on aggressive. Actually, I can do it now. Finally, that rocket artillery I just added will help a little bit too. Progress faster. And you relocate here. Do not engage for now. Participation 54%. Excellent. Be more aggressive. That's what I'm paying you for, I presume. I mean, I presume I'm paying them. Agent injured. Doesn't matter. We have all the collaboration we needed in communist China, which is 
100%. I just need two more missions in Japan, which is a bit of a bummer, although Japan is much less important. So I suppose I could just finish this now. But I am tempted to just mop up all of continental China before I do this. Very tempted. I'm sure some of my extra forces have artillery in them, which is why I'm using up artillery so quickly. Oh, insufficient towed rocket artillery. We have enough guns, we don't have enough artillery of both types. We do have plenty of support equipment. Use the ciphers. Attack. Attack fast, attack hard, attack everywhere. Hm. Ran out of stuff to build. Sadly. Right, what do we need? Let's give Italy some more military factories. Let's give ourselves some civilian ones. Inform us of its territories because my high compliance will let me use all of that. And I did prepare provinces with good infrastructure to use their resources so we can just build there. Lots of these troops are from communist China. Well, lots are from normal China as well, but I wonder if we capitulate communist China, will this go much smoother? I mean, it will go smoother, just how much smoother? Hm. Germany's coming in force. As usual. Yeah, no, they got cut off. And it's all my fault. They're running out of manpower. Well, I have been using it aggressively. Oh yeah, well, all adults serve, whatever. Communist cells. That shouldn't be a problem for us. Still a long way from capitulation. Building supply house, but it's very slow. Also, these guys are more or less cut off. Looks like we can connect ourselves here. It could help with supplies a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit, yes. We have enough support equipment to add recon and engineers as well, probably. Well, no, just one or the other, so let's do engineers. We could use an assault deployment supply hub or something like that. One that just builds super fast. Ah, Cyphers. We lost 3 million people already. You know what? I should probably end this soon. <laughs> God damn it. Germany attacked Spain. Why? We don't need to fight each other. Well, I don't have to join the war unless, of course, they join the faction. And send an army to help our allies. I would prefer to not fight them, but if Portugal, their overlord, joins the Japanese faction, then we'll have to. Dutch Rick attacked Luxembourg. Oh, well, those are petty matters I have no need to be concerned with. Attack some more. And the Netherlands attack Belgium. That's fine. This is one costly war. Oh, Japan actually took over our stuff here. Well, good thing I don't care about that. Jeremy wants to send me lots of stuff. Yes, please. Oh, am I running out of infantry weapons? That's very unfortunate. See, I waited to uh, add support equipment for a very long time, and I still have not waited long enough. Oh, can I take your capital? That would be nice. It's possible, actually, if you move fast enough. You're not moving very fast. But you might still manage it. Get over here. Ah. Well, we almost did it. I'm gonna need to end this. Collaboration government or no collaboration government. You guys de deal with these two. And naval invasions should commence soon. And let's also activate the attack on Sweden. Finish this. Because too many people have died. I mean, it would be more efficient to wait for my collaboration governments in Japan and China to finish. Well, we already have the one in China. So Japan. And then take over all the continental territories here. And only after that attack Japan. But I fear that would take too long, especially cutting through China. We lost our agent. Let's save him. Polish-Romanian alliance. Well, they are in the same alliance, my alliance. So I suppose it's technically correct. Now, so France is fighting Portugal together with Germany. We are not involved in this, and we don't need to be. And former CM has been taken care of. So, where's my naval invasion? No units assigned... Are you joking? How did that happen? Now you're gonna prepare it all over again. Oh, god damn it. How did this happen? I had them assigned and all that. Naval supremacy. Oh, right, I did not tell them to engage. That's not the problem. The problem is they unassigned themselves from the order. Let's go straight to Tokyo. Uh, write new orders. 14 days for them to prepare. And set the navy to actually engage the enemy. Oh, you are engaging the enemy. So why do I have so little supremacy? Ah, they were not actually activated on the order. Oh, no, you don't. Qing China declared war on Japan. Now you're rebelling. I can't allow that. Well, I am at war with them, so it's fine. Right, so activate the orders, please. You guys are traveling to assume control of the territories. That's fine. Manchurian War of Independence is none of my concern. Where's the rest of my navy? Where are the 200 destroyers moving to a side region coast of Japan? Why aren't you there yet? Why are my destroyers in Egypt? I did tell all of their troops to relocate over here. You know what? I'm just, I'm not going to question it. It's the navy. It's probably balked. Or maybe them. Or maybe I just do it wrong. It's fine, we can wait. Kill communist China. Cyphers. Oh, the destroyers have arrived and I still have insufficient supremacy. Okay, what if I just assign everyone over here only? This is going to be sufficient. Yes, yes it is. Not everybody's gonna launch, but perhaps one invasion will suffice. Now that one has launched, let's split you to two. Maybe we can launch the other ones. We'll see. And we are arriving. 
And that's actually all we needed, this bit of territory. Let's cancel the other naval invasions then. Get you guys over here quickly. And take them. Get the territory. Don't lose the port, please. Shouldn't commence China be capitulating already? Yeah, almost. United States declared war on Japan. Well, better late than never. Wanna join my faction? No, America, you cannot have military access. You can, however, subordinate yourself to me in my faction. I can't invite them because... just no. But maybe they can ask to join. Philippines are in the war. See, I probably should have waited for all the Russian governments and until I mopped up this territory, but I just lost my patience. It's already 1942. Activate Japanese cipher. 56%. 55 is going down. No, we can't allow that. Why right, take their capital? Maybe this time you'll succeed. Oh, the coalition government on Japan actually launched. But I don't think I want to wait until it finishes. Why you run off the ports around again? That'll do. Japan has capitulated, giving me all of it. Well, I have 60% capitulation. However, my coalition government operation that's underway, well, it won't really do anything anymore, will it? Well, let's finish this. Try and take Stockholm. Brotherhood of Europe. Qing, China and the Netherlands. Am I gonna be at war with the Netherlands soon? I might. We don't have a direct border, so it's fine. So Brotherhood of Europe might be an unfortunate name if half of your members are in Asia. Oh, Peru joined as well. So only one third is in actual Europe. Attack more aggressively, please. Luxembourg joined Japan. It's a bit chaotic, isn't it? Luxembourg is now my enemy. I don't think I have to concern myself with that. Now, Communist China, how long until you finally capitulate? Not that long. Luxembourg capitulates. Is Belgium at war with me as well? Yes, but the Germans can take care of that. On the other hand, that will give them more war participation. But I do have a lot of participation. How is Sweden still standing? Finish this. Oh, you. There. A victory point. Attack it. Communist China seems to be very difficult to capitulate. All things considered. There are Swedish tanks in China. Come on. Almost there. 19... 8% there. And on that final stretch, let's activate your cipher. Meanwhile, Sweden, still alive for a moment longer. Oh no, do I have to kill the Netherlands now? Well, they are a major power now, apparently. Here you go, have an army. Sweden capitulates, good. Still need to capitulate communist China and possibly the Netherlands, although it's a separate war. I don't need to capitulate the Netherlands, excellent. So, what do we want to take? Most importantly, I want to take all of China. All of it. Let's start. Bulls Republic of China. Select all, please. Excellent. And I'm out of points, aren't I? That's fine. Submit demands. Demand everything. Demand all of China. Demand all of Shaanxi. Next up, Menguko. Wait a minute. I was at war with you as well. I can probably deal with them later. And I'd also like to demand all of Japan. Just don't have the points right at this moment. Submit demands. You're not getting this. Take all the Japan we can. I also will have good compliance there. Submit demands. No, United States, you're not getting anything. Neither are you, France. At least not from Japan. Japan and China and all of that is mine. Mine, I say. Oh, I don't have enough points for everything. Suppose I could give up Korea. Or I could give up some stuff to Qing China later to take it from them. Oh, it's no longer contested, so I really can't. What I can do is give up a bit of Japan to France. Maybe some of the islands. Well, that'd be fine. Oh, I can't afford all of that. Well, then I'll take the cheap stuff. Oh, I didn't really get any turkey, did I? Oh, that's the problem with the peace conferences. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. My alliance will get it. Probably. Maybe. Right, let's take some ships from Sweden and that will be it. Confirm an exit. I'll get the most stuff anyway. All right. Excellent. All this is mine. Oh, nobody took it. You fought me for it and you didn't take it. See, that's what I really hate about the New Peace Conferences. Now time to defeat these guys too. Ching China, Peru, Dutch Republic, Dominican Republic. Well, I have to defeat Peru. I don't wanna. All right, everybody. Kill Ching China. Provisional government of the People's Republic of China. Soon. Soon. Got a lot of manpower from them. Attack. Should have let them Take the territory, because I'm about to kill them anyway. Ching China capitulates, excellent. And then now we can do the collaboration government, because it will get all of that. Create a collaboration government in the People's Republic of China. Wait a moment for it. A lot of stuff to process. Ah, Hungarian China, so beautiful. Now, let's have a look at them, shall we? This guy looks familiar. What's the manpower that you bring to the table? 71 million, who would have thought? See, that's why I love having China, specifically communist China, as a puppet. They have 71 million people ready to become soldiers. All right, let's finish beating up the Netherlands, and maybe we won't have to fight Peru, we'll see. So we're at war with the Dominican Republic, Peru, Dutch, Rick, and that's it. All right, because by creating the Croatian government, we erased Qing China. Who's ready to surrender yet? Go aggressively. I did send people to Peru, but I hope I won't have to fight them. I probably will, though. Mexico did a lot of work here. Should be capitulating right about now. Ah, excellent. 
I will not have to fight Peru. That's great. I have 30% participation. Do I want anything? I could get Peru just to spite Mexico. It's not that important. Oh, Gotland. Nice. Wait a minute, how did you get Gotland? Oh, right, I got Sweden in the Peace Conference. Lots of it. Um, I'm going to forfeit this one. Take the bits of Sweden instead. I'll forfeit for now. Get me more bits of Sweden. Can I fight Germany on this? Maybe. No. I think that's all I can take. It's fine. I don't need much more. Looks like Germany is not gonna take it for themselves either. So we just have the Netherlands here. If I pass this turn, will you take it? No, they just left it. It's a bit frustrating, isn't it? Give me a ship. Yeah, let's get some navy. Why not? See? This is what I'm talking about. There was just not enough war score in the conference for anybody to take this after we've contested a bit. It's a major issue in my opinion. Nevertheless, we are not at war anymore, and I think I'm gonna end this here. I could betray Romania, but they've done so much work for us. It just doesn't feel right. So, how are we doing? We have one and a half million manpower, which is not a lot, but our puppet has 72 million that we can just take from them. I can even make it mine, but that's a lot of fiddling about. Factories are good, could be better, but they're good. Army. Well, I've lost way too many troops in China. I was a bit too fixated on maybe uh, taking this territory directly before the end of the war. It was a good decision to not do that. Still, I do have enough industry to outfit a huge army, and I definitely have enough manpower. We also rule over the greatest faction in the world. Nobody can take it from us, not even Germany. They would need a thousand factories for it. And if they get close, I can just spam all the Chinese manpower. So we don't rule them directly. So what? They do what we tell them. Essentially just like puppets. So it's us, Austro-Hungary, Germany, France, Italy, Poland, Romania, all our subordinates. And there's a small war with Portugal and Spain. We could crush them. I don't feel a need to get involved in that. And there's still the United States, who had a war goal in Japan for a long time and did nothing, only to declare on them at the very end and get almost nothing. Now, are they a threat to me? No. Yes, they have a million manpower and 300 factories, but I have several times that. And also I have France and Germany. Oh right, and Mexico is also my subordinate. Well, ally technically, but they do what I tell them. And we own Canada. So if we want to fight the United States, we just station an army group here, and army group here, and they die. And they are essentially the only other power left in the world. Well, maybe except for Portugal, who we can take. What would I do if I continued this? Because I don't feel a need to continue this with how far we've come. But if we were to continue this, I would first join in on the war with Portugal and Spain, crush them and take as much as I can, and then to eliminate a possible but unlikely threat, I would move all my forces to the United States and crush them with that. Afterwards, we might decide to betray Romania just to take the decision to get more cores in the area. It feels unnecessary, but we can. Same with the annexation of Italy. Unnecessary, but we can do it. Of course, if we wanted to do a one tag or something like that, we would need to betray our allies. In that case, there are two courses of action open to us. Oh, allies still exist here because nobody had the points. To take it. Where was I? Oh yeah, if we went to take the entire world. I think the best course of action in that case would be to just keep attacking everyone, uh, relying on the help from France, Germany, Mexico and so on. It would go faster this way and just let them take the territory if they want to and after all is in our faction, repeatedly just kick a member out, attack them, kill them with the help of the others until there is nobody else but us. So that's about it for this video. It turned out much longer than I thought it would. Thank you for watching nonetheless, and do let me know what you would like to see next. Although I'll probably just do what I feel like anyway. But sometimes your ideas do resonate with me, and sometimes I do what you suggest. So do suggest. Right, thank you for watching, have a nice day, or whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.